What up nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative where today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the books that I want to read during the month of November. First up on this list is the highly anticipated first book in a new series by JCM Byrne called Partial Function. I don't know what it's about. I don't care. It's by JCM Byrne and that's enough for me to know I want to read. I will have all of these books linked below so that you can click on those and read the descriptions in full for yourself. This one I was graciously provided with an arc from the author for. I want to have it read and reviewed before November 7th so you all can decide if it's one you want to pick up. I mean, seriously. It's Jason and Byrne. Have you read Wistful Ascending yet? The next book I'm going to be reading also comes out on November 7th. It is the second book in the Legends and Latte series by Travis Baldry, Bookshops and Bone Dust. I recently read Legends and Lattes and absolutely loved it. I can't wait to see where we're going to go next in this series with these lovable characters, but I am all about it. Another new release coming out in November. I'm not exactly sure of the date. I have it pre-ordered. It's The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. This is the second book in her series, Molly the Maid. I don't know that it was actually originally supposed to be a series, but it turned into one. I couldn't be more happy. First book is called Simply The Maid, and its main character is is Molly, a neurodivergent young lady who was raised by her grandmother. Molly gets a job as a maid at a very nice hotel, but she finds herself in the middle of a murder investigation in book one. I can't wait to see where we're going to go in book two. I literally do not care. I love the character of Molly so very much, and I'm so glad that Nita Prose decided to make it a series. I'm sure you're going to be hearing all about it once I get into that one. It's a very highly anticipated read for me. Speaking of highly anticipated reads, I am determined to get the third book in Kareem Solomon's War of the Last Day series. The final installment is called Reign of Demons. The author sent me the first book to read and review and I loved it so much that when I finished it and wrote the review, I saw that the second book was already out in the series. I immediately started it. It was not on the TBR. It was not planned. I couldn't not read it. It was there. I read it. I loved it. And now I have my hands on the third book that I've been trying to read over the last few months and just haven't made it through. And this month I'm determined to get it done. I will link in the description box below my non-spoiler review for the first book in this series so you can see if it's one you want to read. And I want to say both of those books were in Kindle Unlimited. So if you're a subscriber to that service, just go ahead and get both books. You'll thank me later. Continuing down the list for November reads, I will be continuing my dress and reread and side jobs there's a novella called the warrior that i'm going to be reading this month and then in brief cases there is a short story or it might be a novella too called curses that i'll be reading and then i think up next i have a couple of graphic novels before i get back into reading the full length novels another highly anticipated read my goodness i just saved some really great reads for november it's going to be a fantastic month i have the second book in Cassidy failing series Angel blood. It's called The Binding Power. Take a look at that beautiful cover. I read and reviewed The Awakening Fire. Was it last year or beginning of this year? I'll have that linked in the cards for you to check out. Cassidy Failing has a gift for these teaser lines that she puts on the front and I think she has some kind of voodoo up in there because I want to read this one right now so bad. I can't wait to see how it's gonna go. I really want to reread the first one again before starting this one. Maybe I'll save this one for last in November to see if I have enough time to reread The Awakening Fire. Hmm. We'll have to see. Moving on into my patron pick of the month for November, my patron Anne picked T. Kingfisher's Thornhead. Well, she gave me two choices, but honestly, I can't even remember what the second one was. Because all I saw was Thornhedge, and I knew it was the T. Kingfisher book, and I just... I can't resist. I absolutely cannot resist. I am so excited to see what this one is going to be about. It looks like it might be another fairy tale inspired one or a fairy tale that's dark and twisted. Kind of in that same vein as Nettle and Bone. I don't care. T.K. Fisher wrote it. I'm going to read it. I'll also be diving into New Spring by Robert Jordan. Originally, this was released as a prequel to the series. Preferred reading order is after book 10, Crossroads of Twilight 
Spotlight, which I got into last month. This is a read along hosted by Kate over at the channel, The Literary Apothecary in her Discord. I'll have her link down in the description below if you wanna check out her channel, join the Discord. There is a channel for all of the books listed so you can talk about any of the books that you're on. You can go back and just take part in any of the conversations that you like about the books we've read so far. I have here Sea of Souls by N.C. Scrimmager, the first in a fantasy series by this author. This is an author that I first experienced when I was reading and judging for SPSFC2. I was blown away with the book that she entered for that one and when she asked me if I wanted to read and review this one, I was on board. I just haven't had a chance to sneak it in yet. But this is the month, y'all. This is the month where I want to start catching up on these books that I've gotten behind on and I am so excited to read this one. And then moving on here to my next one, I have a horror novel here to read and review for you. Gollum by P.D. Oliva. If the author's name sounds familiar, I recently read Jiggly Spot and the Zero Intellect. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal. It's the newest release by P.D. Oliva. It came out on Halloween. I will link it in the cards above if you want to check out that non-spoiler review. love how it was written. I love the character development. I love the creativity of P.D. Oliva. I have been eagerly anticipating this one ever since I finished Jiggly Spot because at the end there was a page that said hey if you want to know more about this one particular character you're gonna want to pick up Gollum because it's gonna tell you all about that character. All through Jiggly Spot that character remained an enigma. I was so curious about that character and when I saw that that's who is going to be involved heavily in this one it's all I could do to not pick it up early and get started, but I waited, I waited, and here we are. I'm gonna read this one this month and tell you all about it. I have a feeling that P.D. Oliva is going to be a staple here on the channel. I can't wait to read more by this author. And my final one that I have here is one that I accepted from Rising Action Publishing Company in exchange for an honest review. This is the first book in a new series by Nick Stevenson called Nethergeist. This book is about a necromancer who is so powerful that he becomes emperor. He likens himself unto God and starts trying to take over. Of course, we have to have someone who is going to stand against this emperor. And this character seems to be a bit of an anti-hero. So I'm very eager to read this one and talk about it with y'all. And that is going to wrap up all of the amazing, highly anticipated reads that I have for the month of November. I am so excited to read these books. So many wonderful books, great authors that I've read before. And then I've got one new author to try and check out and share with y'all. It's going to be a great month. What do you got lined up for this month, guys? Let me know in this comments down below. And in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I am so thankful to have all of you out here who watch these videos, all of you who comment and have conversations with me about all of these books. Thank you so much. I hope you all know how much I appreciate having you here. Thank you so, so much. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.